Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and the Initial Impressions review and sort of a walkthrough, so it's a little bit of a spoilery type of uh, video. It's for the Atlas Mystery, a VR puzzle game. A game released on the Steam Store today, April 13th, 2022, for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It normally retails for $15. It's on a release sale, 10% off. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And I'm testing it out on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable. Now these are the available settings. So there's no graphical settings. Uh, the good news is it, it's running fine on my RTX 3080, mostly at 90 frames per second. Although I've had a couple of frame rate drops, but nothing noticeable. Uh, so you do have setting or standing, smooth turning is available. You can set the smooth turn speed rate and you do have force grab activation. You also have a button to, to uh, go low or crouch. So it makes picking up stuff easier. We're gonna start a new game. Now I played this game for two hours and I got pretty far, but then I got stuck. And because I am stuck, I'm unable to do a full review for this game. So that's why I'm gonna let's play initial impressions instead. Uh, we're gonna blow by the content though we're, we're gonna blow by this content <laughs> hopefully hopefully i don't get stuck on a puzzle that i've already solved earlier uh so there is a nice bit of content here for 15 bucks so far uh oh okay use the teleport <laughs> okay and this is what i was talking about uh the grip button so you do have a little force grab it doesn't force grab from very far away uh, i'm not gonna read text you know i'm not into reading Reading is for suckers. <laughs> Reading is for nerds. Okay. <laughs> Five, eight, nine. Five, eight. Oh, what am I doing? Nine. So this is just the starting area. So, you know, don't. We do also have an inventory system. Now, you can interact with some items, but there's a lot of stuff you can't really interact with. Like this, I can't interact with it. Uh, for some reason, I can interact with that, but again, not this. I can interact with this. And I cannot interact with that, so, you know, just some random stuff. Now, this is actually also... Now, find your way out of the room, so... Again, spoiler warning, this, this is about to be your first real spoiler, so... This is the tricky puzzle. Oh no, what should we do? Oh, plug it in! <laughs> No, that doesn't solve the puzzle. That just starts the puzzle solving process. So obviously what you want to do is you want to get the wave like that. And you want to get the wave like, what does it look like? Like that, right? You want to move it to 89. Then you want to click this little button here. Now you're going to move the red. You're going to move the red like, like so, right? There we go. Boom. Easy. I was so proud of myself that I solved that puzzle. <laughs> and so you open the room. Now, there is a story here, but it's all through those little texts that we're not going to read. So I'm not going to spoil the story. I will spoil puzzles. Not going to spoil the story. So <laughs> it's an interesting story, though. Uh, I was surprised by the subject matter. I was not expecting that. Um... All I say is that if you're, well, I'm not even going to say it. You know what? There's nothing wrong with the storyline. If you think there's something wrong with the storyline, then the problem is you. Uh, so as you noticed earlier, we had a screwdriver and we're going to use our screwdriver. And you're looking at that like, what can I do with it? Right? What can I do? What can I do? I almost feel. Hey, I solved this earlier. And now it's now it's. Oh, and it's so finicky. So finicky. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now. You know what? I'll, I'll come back later. You can walk faster, and you're gonna use a screwdriver. Now you just basically put the screwdriver in the general area. You're not really twisting it, so keep that in mind. So the VR interactions here, you know, they're. For an indie puzzle game, they're nice, but obviously they're not the most smoothed and polished VR interactions. 
Oh, you know what? I don't think we need a screwdriver anymore, but I'm gonna keep it. No, we don't. Okay. Not gonna mess with it, okay. So this one's pretty easy. Just gotta figure it out here. Okay. And, uh, No, no, we can't do that. So we have to go like this, right? Okay. And then... We can go... No, we have to go like this also. The only, the only thing that really we can do right now is... Okay. There we go. We turned the power on. Okay, now we can go back over here. I kind of feel like it's too sensitive. Doesn't go further than that. Oh, okay, well. okay, now. Oh! Wow, I had easier time my first time around. Wow, okay, this is more tricky than I thought it'd be. See, that you saw it the first time, it seemed easy, and then you try to do it again, and it ends up being a little bit more difficult than you thought it would be. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how I solved it, but somehow I did. Okay. <laughs> it's that type of puzzle game, or at least how I solve puzzles. So, obviously, you want to go through the drawers here, and ooh, look, look here. Oh, come on. So, you see, I'm trying to get the key, but... So, the interactions here are not always the best. So, the key is for... Oh, wow, they locked up. The... They locked the popcorn! Why would you do that? Oh, no, that's... And you see my hand got stuck. So, that's one thing about this game, that my hands have been getting stuck on stuff pretty often. And so, there's something here as well. Soda Fountain Manual. So we look at the manual and uh, we have to read. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't think so. So you see here the interactions, they work, but they're not as smooth and, and as polished as you would expect. Uh, but it is an indie development team. So I guess for an indie developer, it's okay. You know, I'm not going to complain. And uh, this again, we're not gonna we're not gonna do any reading. We, we don't need to do any reading. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to figure this out. So one thing you'll notice is that two of those are out, and one of them is not. So combo number two coming right up, and candy. What we want to do is get the candy. So again, this is a very spoilery review. So if you don't want the game spoiled for you right now, be the time to stop. I'm watching this. That crouch button is really coming in handy because I'm playing seated. And if I was playing standing, I'd be pretty upset because there's no way I would like... What is this? 
Oh, crap. This is this was not right. That was not right. <laughs> Okay, wow. I'm having more trouble now than I was earlier. There we go. I think that's my, that might be right. Maybe. We'll see. I think that goes twice. First one was a s Okay, there should be six candies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, I got more than six candies. Okay, there we go. There we go. Get rid of that one. There we go. I think I think now we're 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 in business now. Nope, that's not it. There we go. So, yeah, that's part. I think I got that right. Maybe. Either that or it's uh, the other way around. So, again, uh, you look at that and it's uh, blue soda. So, we're going to mix yellow and purple. I'm going to try to make it pretty even. Yellow. Purple. There we go. And lastly, a uh, 20 ounce popcorn. And this is already laid out for us pretty well. Okay, what's going on here? Whoa. I didn't have th these problems earlier. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, that, that was not working. That did not want to work. Okay, that looks like 20, right? Let's see, is that 20? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, how much? No, we, we still need a lot of popcorn. I think some of it fell, fell off. Okay. okay. Ooh, still needs more popcorn. Wow, we're, we're being stingy. Okay, is that 20? Wow. <laughs> This is a little too precise. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. There we go. Okay. Close enough. So you see it says nine there. And here it says two. And here it says six. So popcorn says nine candy says six and that says two so nine six two nine six two boom and again a little clunky we're not going to read any of this stuff and so we can go over here and we can open this up 
Boom. Oh, come on. And then turn on the lights. There we go. All right. So uh, let's keep going. Now, I was a little confused by this, but uh, there is a clue somewhere. It's written down. So we're going to have to find the writing before we do anything, because I don't want to sound like I just solved it out of thin air. So again, that's just part of the story. We're not going to. Okay. So, oh, here, here it is. So this is, I guess, not really reading, it, but it's, it's it says, you see the picture frame and it says the little statue. So, you know, you kind of have a clue there. One has something to do with the other. What is that connection? Okay. And then you see a cipher here. Uh, this is actually a pretty easy one. Let's go ahead and solve this. This is super easy. So at first I was a little confused. But then I noticed how the patterns match. So you see a little V. It's not really a V. It's really this thing here that matches an M. Okay. And then you see the little thing. It's an... It's a... What? Red. So it's U. Sorry. <laughs> I was confused myself because I was looking at the black one. It's not the black. It's red. You see how it matches the red there? And then this matches the black R. You see that? So I think we're, we already know murder. Okay, we, we don't need to do the rest, right? Murder, right? And voila, it opens up over here. So you get this. Now, um, we can pretend we don't know what to do with it, but we do know what to do with it really quick. So again, we're gonna use our little get down action and we just need to get one more. All right. So, uh, what to do? All right, so uh, there's more over here. It says, oh, okay, this is another clue here. So make sure you, you read this, because I didn't just, I mean, I guess this is one that you can just solve without re reading it, because, you know, it's, this is pretty common in escape. Ooh, whoa. So you see there's some problems there with the physics. <laughs> I went up in the, in the air, and so we're going to get to the other trash can, because we're going to check every trash can after seeing that uh, after reading that note or if you're just the very or if you played puzzle games before you know to always check the trash that's that's likely oh come on my my hand is stuck there so again that's something that does need to be fixed because my hand has gotten stuck in lots of places so boom okay so 35 19 26 that is a combination that we'll need to solve and f see for what what combination um actually it's this one right here. So this one took me a while just because I it was so dark. So if, if I do have one complaint to the developer, this this puzzle's a little unfair because it's so hard to see. Like it took me a while to see that there's actually numbers in there. It's just too dark. So he, I think he needs like a different color there to make it a little bit more obvious that there's actually numbers there. Um, but we're gonna go 35. And I'm having a trouble seeing even where 35 is. Like, I have no idea what 35 is. Where is 35? Oof. There, oh, man, I can't, can't even see. What? Where is it? Oh, my God. Whoa. Man, I, I really can't see. Okay, 35 is almost at the top. Okay. okay, there's 35. Wow, that's so hard to see. And I know what to look for. Imagine if you didn't know it, you wouldn't... You, probably missed this without seeing it definitely needs different colors here because it's too hard to to see there boom and so two things happen here we don't need that anymore so we got a statue and with a 70 on it and we got this little dial here so we're gonna go And like I said, this is the faster walking speed. So we're going to go, go, go. And this is CC. Now we don't have Freddy Dubois. We did have Freddy Dubois. We know it's 70. But we're just going to put it in our backpack for right now then. Okay, so uh, we got one clue. Let's go ahead and get the other dial. So as you can see, this lion open has the green light green eyes this one has red eyes so we've got to solve the puzzle here 
And so this is uh, not that tricky. Just gotta solve. Uh, let's see, is it yellow? Yellow? How many yellows are there? So there's yellow, red, orange. Okay. So we only have one more yellow to go. Okay. Red, green, red, yellow. So we don't need any more yellows. Oh, no. I, I don't think... Red, orange? Red, green? So we came up short. <laughs> and it seems to me like... Huh. Okay, so... Uh, yellow, red. Okay. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Okay, well, we're still short yellow and red, so... Wow. Okay. Green... Okay, so orange, orange. Okay, so we got all the oranges now. But we don't have any greens. Wow. Hmm. Which one do... What do we have too many of? Red, red, one... I got one, two, three, four reds. Okay, so we got too many reds. And how many yellows do we have? One, two... We only have two yellows. Wait, how... Oh, no, we have three yellows. We, we got too many oranges. Okay, all right. So one, two, three oranges. That's how many we need. And how many yellows? One, two, there, we got four reds. So we got too many reds. So we need something with yellow. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, too many reds. So we need with something with green. There we go. <laughs> okay, all right. We solved it. Trial and error. I, I don't think I solved it. I just, you know, brute forced it. It's okay. <laughs> and so this is pretty messed up here. So what we want to do is we want to get... Okay. Okay, all right. Not too difficult so this opened up over here we got a little dial over here so we're gonna go and uh, put it in stick it in all right so uh, I thought this would oh yeah it solved it okay so I was like what the hell I thought it was supposed to be solved so we got another dial and we got 50 for Clark Cunningham so what we can do is put it to 50 already. And, oh, come on, 50. Okay, so we don't need Clark Cunningham anymore. Boom, okay. So the last thing is we have one more of these to solve. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna cheat here. I already know the solution. The solution is here. So as you, well, first thing I said is the picture frame was the solution for one of them. It's this one. Uh, I don't know how they figured it out. I, I just tried all of them. And so it's 18, 1862. So I, I just tried all of them and I eventually got to that one. That was actually the last one I tried. So I had the worst luck there, but yeah, I don't know if there's a more accurate way of determining which one. Okay, 18, 18, 
I also don't, not a big fan of the way these knobs are moved. You basically just push them. And Joseph Randall, 20. So we're going to go 20. And again, we're running back over there. We're running, we're running. And again, uh, these puzzles are, I found to be challenging. You know, I, I did have to think for a while. Uh, oh, 20, 2020. So, uh, and lastly, FD, FD is over here, 70. Boom. Okay, so we got the money. We don't need the money. So we got the key. So we're going to put the key right here for now. And then we... We're gonna get the uh, the film. So the film is for an upcoming puzzle. It's not for a puzzle in this room. And uh, let's go ahead and get the key. And so if you're wondering, what's the, what is the key for? Well, remember we passed that. We never really messed with it, but that's what the key is for. So at some point you do come back here I think to open those doors that are locked and then you move this and that shows Africa and that shows the Americas and because we are in Hollywood you would think that you want to see the United States of America front and center which is correct then we go on the elevator all right so we're going to go on the elevator. We're going to go to where I got stuck. And so this video is not going to be much longer. And again, there is lots of story here if you read. Uh, but we're not reading, so no story spoilers. I'll just say it's an interesting story. Um, if you find the story controversial, though, I would say that's a you problem, because I don't think there's anything controversial. I mean, this is 1940s Hollywood, though, so at that time, it was probably controversial. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I like this. As far as my initial impressions, oh, I, I don't want to read anything. Oops, don't read any, anything. Um, as far as my initial impressions, I, I enjoyed this. Uh, if you enjoy VR puzzle rooms, I would say this is one of the better ones. Uh, I really like the challenge of the puzzles. They're all logical. I, you know, I was able to solve all of them. Um, so I know what to do here. Again, I'm, I'm just going to speed up a little bit. Uh, but basically, I was playing around with this. You know, because it took this. This is the room that took me the longest to to get stuff going because I, I didn't even know where to start. But eventually, I just started playing around with this, and I noticed. Well, what happens if you just match the colors? So this is yellow. So we're going to take that and, oh, come on. Okay, yellow. We're going to take that away. Oh, again, my hand is getting stuck. So that's my biggest complaint about this game is my hand's getting stuck. And it's very noticeable in, in this puzzle here. So green, we're going to match the green. So we're going to... Oh my gosh. Gonna match the green, blue, purple, pink, pink. Okay, and. There we go, we solved it, yes! So we got the light bulb. And there, there's the instructions here again. I mean, I guess you have to do some reading. It's for nerds, but you have to do some reading. Sorry, you just, you just gotta. So. There we go. Boom. And there we go. And it says four of these. This is where I'm stuck. So this is basically the part where I'm stuck. Now, as you notice, there is this chest. And there's different symbols. And of course, you got to push them in a, some sort of order. I have no idea what the order is, how you figure that out. I might have to do something with solving that puzzle first. I, I think there might be an order of the puzzles. I did notice that this is here. Now, I don't think you can do anything with this until you get the chest open. Because uh, you know you want to put it here, but I, I haven't been able to put it there. I think it has to do with there's this thing. I, I hope you don't have to solve this because this is one thing that I just refuse to solve. 
I hope that it's not that you, if you solve this, something opens here. It doesn't look like it to me. Uh, one cool thing about this game that didn't really show it off is that you can play with like the arcade cabinets. In fact, um, before I do that though, I'll show that before I end the video. So my initial impressions is that I do like this. Uh, it's pretty cool, I think. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. 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 So this should work, right? Like it matches all the oh, it matches all the colors, but nothing happens. And there's a message here that says, "Use guillotine frame line tape. Other tapes may damage splicer." And there's these things. I I don't know what to do here. Like, I don't know how to make the reel from that. I don't know. It's, just, it's not working. Oh. So, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, obviously, there's a combination here. I don't know the combination. Uh, there's... Oh, there's a hidden safe here. Yes, I know that. There's a hidden safe, but I don't know the combination. There's letters here. I didn't read anything in the letters that gave me clues. Um, I really think you have to figure out how to make the film reel from those four, but I, I, I don't see I don't see the line tape. If there is a line tape, I don't know where it is. Uh, I've looked, I didn't find it. Uh, so I'm stuck in this part of the puzzle. If anyone out there knows a solution, uh, if you could write a comment on my video, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Help me move along, but I'm stuck there and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time there. Okay, so as far as my impressions of this game, my initial impressions, I do enjoy it. I think it's one of the better puzzle games in VR. Um, it could use, you know, some polish. The biggest thing is the hands getting stuck. That's the biggest thing to me. Uh, I do like that it has full look motion, smooth and snap turning. Uh, some of VR inter all the VR interactions could be more smooth and polished, but you know, it, it's okay for what it is. You know, like I said, it's an indie game. Now, like I was saying, these things actually kind of do work. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, don't you think so? Now, I don't know if you can find quarters and actually start a game, but uh, here's the whack-a-mole. You can actually use the whack-a-mole. So, you know, nice interactions. But, but And like I said, there's stuff you can interact with, like the sledgehammer, but you can't really do anything. Like, you can't smash stuff. Um, oh, crap. Where's this, where's the sledgehammer? Okay. Ooh. So you see some of the physics here are a little rough around the edges. You know, if you want to break the glass, yeah, you can't. <laughs> okay. So yeah, some things work, some things don't, some things you can interact with, some things you can't. It's pretty cool when you can interact with some of the stuff. Um, but overall, I like the puzzle. So, so far I've really enjoyed the challenge of the puzzle. So that's the thing I enjoy the most about this game. Uh, all the puzzles I solve, uh, were through deduction. So, you know, just being observant, seeing the clues. It's not one of those puzzle games that has like abstract logic or you're wondering how did they get from point A to point B here? It's pretty logical. And as long as you're observant, you should be able to solve these puzzles. So I, I like the puzzle challenge. Uh, they're not easy puzzles by any stretch of the imagination, but they're just the right challenge. Uh, I think even expert puzzle uh, puzzle veterans, like VR puzzle veterans, I think will still enjoy this game because I, I do think the puzzles are challenging. Obviously, if, if you saw my video, then I'm spoiling a lot of the game for you. So, hey, I did warn you. I did say it's a walkthrough and that would be spoiling stuff. So I did spoil lots of stuff, but I'm stuck here now. I don't know how to proceed. So I'm not going to give like uh, a full review type score. I'm just going to say that I enjoyed this game. I recommend it. And I think it's one of the better puzzles game, but because I haven't finished the game, I can't really score it properly. Like for 15 bucks though, I think this game uh, gives value. So, so that's why I can easily recommend it. But as far as how high would I score it? Um, I can say that I'm leaning towards a seven out of 10, maybe 7.5. Uh, but you know, that's speculation on my part, just because like I said, I don't know how much more of the game is, of the game is left where the story goes, the puzzles from this point forward, how good are they? So 
there's lots of factors that would obviously affect any type of score so that's why i say it's a very speculative score so that's why i don't want to give it a score and that's why i'm not calling this a final review or anything like that this is just initial impressions but the initial imp impressions are positive and i do recommend it anyways i'm fast lawyer this has been my let's play initial impressions and partial walkthrough for the atlas mystery a vr puzzle game anyways if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day and if you have a hint for me on how to proceed, please let me know in the comments. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.